Kopi Lawak. Yeah, I got you everyone first. I can tell no one what on earth is with this guy talking about. So I think me know this because she's the same Southeast Asian. Kopi Lawak, we will have to understand it first. What is it? No. Oh, it won't work with that. Oh. Wait, 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 no, no, no. You can catch the screen. The screen. Yeah. No. One more time. One more time. One more time. On the arrow. On the arrow. On the arrow. On the arrow. Oh, That's okay. Yes, this one. It should be worked. It's on the screen. What is your number? Oh, too fast. Too fast. <laughs> so, you might think when you go to Starbucks, you might think you're for 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 the last twenty five cent uh, Starbucks macchiato is the most expensive coffee in Starbucks. But uh, you absolutely correct. But you have to wait to try the kopi lava first. Kopi Lawak is also known as cider coffee, which is you can compare with normal coffee like Starbucks, like the tall side of cider coffee can be equal 30 side 30 20 coffee of Starbucks coffee. You understand the size? That is the smallest size compared with the biggest size of the coffee in Starbucks. So, kopi or kopi tea? Kopi is a traditional word to call coffee in Southeast Asian. So, most Southeast Asian countries will call coffee as kopi. This word first started in Indonesia. So, after that, people, when the first coffee bean export to the neighbor country, so people keep calling the same word. What is lava? I don't tell you yet. You will know. Next slide, I will tell you later. Thank you. <laughs> so, today we will learn about the history of cyber coffee and how to how we it. And also the market target and the price of this kind of coffee. The history about this kind of coffee in Thailand. <coughs> First, I have to talk about is this coffee can harvest only in the in Doi Chang. Doi Chang is a huge station in Thailand in the northern, and it can harvest in this place because of some scientists said this the lava can they will live in this the tall the same tall of mountain this kind of mountain. Only if lower, they will not live in that place. They will live, live they like they know the air pressure. They will live only the natural that they like. Also, the agriculture in this place is between people and this kind of animal have a good relationship together. So they live together very good, and they exchange the benefit. And the ethnic knowledge of the Shang people. This is these people are. The, <coughs> ethnic people, the local people, people Westerners always think that this kind of coffee is stuck in Indonesia. But in fact, in Southeast Asia, this is the common thing. Yes. <coughs> and how to harvest? <laughs> First, we have to know what is lava. 
this is lava. Is this a kind of cyber or ferret? And it's very friendly to this kind of animal. If you feed them, they will come back anytime. But they will have their their zone. They will not go out too far. This is their natural. So why call cyber coffee? Because they know best how to pick the coffee bean. <laughs> you will see it from this picture. They will. They will. This kind of animal is very really picky animal. They will eat only sweet coffee bean. Only. Yeah. When they eat, when they pick that coffee bean, so people can harvest from it. So this is the product that they produce for us. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can guess what this is. <laughs> so we can see after they came to eat the coffee bean that people plant on the field, they will run back to their place and leave the evidence. So all the less is we have to walk and looking for this kind of thing and take it back to clean. After that, roast it, you will get the coffee bean. Also, they will eat only Arabica coffee bean only. Other kai, some people try, but they not really like. You know, they, mostly, they eat only this kai. About target market and the price, right now, the most target market is European and North America, especially in Canada. Can, Canadian people are very crazy about this kind of coffee right now. And also France too. Many products from France about lava coffee that put made in France, in fact, is from Vietnam or from Indonesia or Thailand. Yeah. And you can see the price. One pound of lava coffee bean is $600. If you compare with a cup, it's around $50, 50 per cup. If you compare with the normal coffee bean, it's around $20 per pound. Wow. This is a big difference. Why well, it's very really expensive? Because this kind of coffee you can harvest from the natural, natural the wild side of only. And we will talk about the coffee problem. This is the big problem right now. This kind of animal, you cannot leave it in the crate. If you fought it to eat the coffee bean and keep it like this, they will not pick the coffee bean, they will eat them all because their instinct tells them to survive, so they will not care about sweet or not sweet, so they eat. And after that, people harvest it like this. But this one is shame on this country. This is not even cyber too. Yes. So it had to be the from the wire only. And this why the primary and because of we cannot control this kind of product. It depends on this kind of animal only. And careful about the fake product. Right now we have a lot of fake product. How to see the fake fake product? Side like coffee have oil by itself. When you make this kind of coffee, you do not have much bubble like this. And it's, it's very famous about very good smell and very good taste, but it's not very strong. It doesn't have much caffeine, but give the feeling very good. Also, the color, you can see from this picture. Same with coffee, has to be this color only, the light brown. If you see the product, it's dark brown. Mm -hmm. Or when, make the, when you smash it, this kind of color, they are fake product because it will look similar like powder, mm -hmm. like that. <coughs> like this one, you can see the product. Say this is cyber, eat it, and this. <laughs> After that, you get the coffee. <laughs> but you see the color, it is totally different. <laughs> so, we know about people and cyber, both sides are win. Because they help each other. This kind of thing is like you respect to the other species and natural. So they keep benefit. People plant the coffee tree from them and they eat it and they give back the product. Also, this kind of coffee right now is very really famous. 
every most people in Europe, European and North American eat, drink them a lot, and this is the most expensive coffee right now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.